Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a topic video on what I would like to see in The Flash Season 2. So last week I uh, did the Arrow Season 4, what I would like to see, and it did really well the topic video, so I said let's do this for Flash. Um, and if you guys have any future recommendations for topic videos, please let me know in the comments below. And if I answer them, that means a couple of weeks it will either be on Comic Uno or Comic Frontline, because I double dose my topic, uh, topic videos. Usually for Comic Uno, I have them every Friday with my comic book reviews and for Comic Frontline I have them every Sunday so be sure to recommend away in the comments but let's talk about this topic video what I would like to see in season two of Flash so we saw a lot of speed force not and a lot of time travel in this uh, last finale so what do we see in season two um, one thing I loved about uh, season one of Flash is that it did so much in one season that I thought would take a hundred seasons. I think because we're used to the pace of um, Smallville that we're all like, oh, that should happen like season eight. We're so used to that pace still, even though the show's been over for a while. Um, I still think we think back to that as like a superhero pacing type show. Um, but both Arrow and Flash are doing things so much more quicker, uh, which is great to see, which I don't think that was right grammar, but whatever. Um, but yes, it, it's great to see that these shows are uh, doing plots quicker than you expect. Uh, and, you know, a big thing, and again, oh, spoilers here, but uh, a big thing is uh, that happened last episode is the reference of Killer Frost happening in the future and them having the costume already for Killer Frost and, you know, referencing Killer Frost, uh, which is why it's a thumbnail, and it's already, you know, mentioning that Cisco has powers. Um, so I'm hoping season two is the exploration of... Killa Frost and uh, her powers, and Caitlyn having powers, um, and then Vibe, you know, uh, Cisco having powers also. I'm really hoping it could be their season. Um, also for Iris, I don't want to see the same thing that happened to Laurel in season two, because obviously that's possibly that could happen, because it's kind of the same story going on with, uh, um, with Iris, that Iris lost Eddie, Laurel lost Tommy. They're two completely different characters, but I don't want to see Iris kind of go downward spiral because that's, you know, made Laurel's character a little iffy in season two, even though she improved a lot season three. Um, and obviously Iris is not going to become a superhero, so uh, uh, she doesn't have that going for her. But I, I hope she gets closer to Barry because of this. Uh, again, I don't know how they're going to explore these emotions. I thought they made it really weird the, the way that she went back with Eddie is just more because he was gonna die that's the reason that she was with him in the end I felt it was a bit forced because she likes Barry so much and they were leading into that uh but like I've been saying since with all my reviews for Flash I would really hope Iris and Barry could like start dating at least in the next season and I want to see like the middle of this uh the series maybe like season four season five that they get married I don't want to be endgame that they get married I would really like to see married life for them in the show so that's what I would like to see with Iris. Um, and of course, you know, I, I want to see the morning uh, of Eddie, and I think we're going to see that towards the beginning of season two with Joe, Iris, really everybody. Uh, and I think Harrison Wells will come back, but as Harrison Wells, which I think will be an interesting dynamic. I hope there's no paradoxes because of um, what happened in the finale, but there might be, because if Harrison Wells is alive, things change, you know, uh, stories can change, Nor might not die, so there might be some paradoxes here, or there might be plot holes, we'll see. Uh, and then, of course, uh, next season, I would like to see more speedsters, maybe Wally, uh, Jake Garrick obviously was referenced, but I think he's gonna be in Legends of Tomorrow, um, would like to see uh, Jesse Quick. I've been saying that. I want to see Jesse Quick so bad because she is a female speedster and uh, really one of, not one of the only female speedsters, but I feel like the, one of the only female speedsters that will fit the show. Uh, it, it's kind of cool that she uses a different form of entering the Speed Force and of course explore the Speed Force in season two too. That way it makes more sense of, hey, this is someone that uses the Speed Force differently. So I'd really like to see that. Um, especially if you have Jake Garrick, you have some of the Just Society here and some references to that. So you have Jesse Quick's father, Liberty Bell. Let's see some of that. I would like to see that. I, I keep saying that until it happens. Uh, but yeah, those are things I would really like to see in the season. Uh, maybe more Gorilla Grodd, some, make the robes grow a bit more, especially with uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Um, there's just a lot that could happen in this season. I'm sure a lot will happen. So those are things I would really like to see. Let me know in the comments below what would you like to see in season two of The Flash. Uh, let me know. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links for my comic 
book Like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.